Now that you've been using Jira Product Discovery to nurture those ideas, some of them are going to be ready to be promoted to graduate into Jira software so that your technical teams can now execute on those ideas. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to connect your Jira Product Discovery idea with Jira software and how the traceability works so that you can keep tabs and track on those ideas as they mature and actually get implemented by your technical teams. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a like if you get value out of this video and don't forget to check out the links down below as they contain links to my merch, paid courses, and most importantly, links to the sponsors that help make these videos possible. So go show them some love and try out one of their apps. All right, let's jump into Jira product discovery and Jira software as we're gonna be talking about both in this video for this entire thing to make sense. Don't wanna sleep in, cause I got something to prove. I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move. This video is sponsored by Release. In this world of Jira, we're gonna open up two different projects. We are going to open up a Jira software project. So I'm gonna open up this demo for done status. And I also need to go and get into my Jira product discovery project. Now, you don't need to really go into the Jira software project just yet, which is why I opened it up in a new tab, but we do need to go into our product discovery project and we're gonna be basically discussing these ideas and how these connections work. Now, let's dismiss this little advertisement here from Atlassian. Very interesting that they do that. But all we need to do is essentially go into an idea that has been fleshed out. For this portion of the video, for this stuff to make sense, you would have had to run through the entire workflow or life cycle of that Jira product discovery idea. This doesn't make sense. Like the thing I'm about to explain, creating these delivery tickets, this is the last step in the entire like product discovery workflow, okay? So I am assuming, by the time you're watching this video, I am assuming that you've already captured the idea. You have negotiated the idea, you've discussed the idea, you've aligned it to goals and you've roadmapped it and you have captured all the insights and all the information and you've put in your, your weights for, is this thing important? Is it valuable? Is it worth investing calories into, right? So assuming you've done all of that due diligence and you arrive at the conclusion, this idea is valuable enough for our company that we want to actually implement it. We want to then deliver on it, right? We want to make this idea real. Then this is where this video starts, right? Because once you have that idea that has been fleshed out, you basically don't want to lose sight of it, right? You want to track the implementation. You want to figure out once that idea is graduated and promoted into an actual like a feature or an epic inside of Jira, you don't want to lose sight of the development because you are still on the hook for that delivery, right? You wanna look at this thing from a holistic standpoint and really from a customer expectation standpoint of now that we have this idea that is ready to be developed, we wanna still be able to communicate and understand where this idea is now in its development phase, right? So we're beyond just the theoretical, but we want to track a little bit more cleverly, if you will, the actual implementation of it. So I'm gonna show you how that works because this is perhaps my most favorite Jira product discovery feature. And it's one that I think you're gonna find very delightful. So let's take a look. So let's just open up any idea. It doesn't matter which idea it is. Again, in this video, for you, 100%, you wanna capture and use the right idea, the one that is the most fleshed out. But for this video, for me, because I don't actually build anything, I don't care which idea I pick. So I'm just gonna pick this Slack integration one here. And this is going to prompt you to pull up this side menu here. And what we're looking in particular is this delivery tab right here. We wanna click into that. And so when you click into that, you're going to see that you have two options. We can either create a delivery ticket or we can add a delivery ticket. And so let me explain what the difference is between those two. So creating a delivery ticket is going to be in Jira product discovery. You're going to create an issue, like an epic, a story, a task, a bug, inside of Jira software. So this assumes that you don't have, you have a blank slate. You don't have anything in Jira software that you're gonna connect to. So this is gonna be brand new from scratch. Alternatively, if your teams have already maybe started some pre-communications or some coordinations already, you might already have a feature or an initiative or maybe even an epic where you're going to wanna connect that specific like 
initiative or epic to this idea. It implies that it already exists inside of Jira software. So in that case, you wouldn't click on create a delivery ticket, you would click on add a delivery ticket because it already exists. But because we haven't done it yet, we're going to just simply do the create a delivery ticket because I don't have anything at this point. And this is probably my preferred method. You don't want to come in with some preconceived notions. So you want to start as blank of a slate as possible and create a delivery ticket from here should be the catalyst to trigger then your technical team, your project managers, and all those great folks that are actually going to deliver and, and see this idea through, through that final phase of delivery to the customer. So let's click on this create a delivery ticket and see what happens. So as you can see here, we're basically really, really tightly integrated with your software. And so we just need to pick the project that we want to go into. In this particular case, we're going to go remember, if you remember from the beginning, I opened up a demo for done status. So that's in the other tab. We'll reference that in a second. And then whatever issue types are available for that project, you're going to want to basically start at the highest level. In this particular project, I have improvements, service requests, new features, bugs, technical debt, tasks, and epics. My epic is going to be the highest level that I want to start at. So I'm going to start there and then you can give it a name. So naturally it's going to inherit the name of the idea, which is totally fine. It's up to you. I do recommend though, if you're going to do this and the way I would do it properly is don't go to the Epic level because the Epic level should be smaller, more deliverable items, like something that's going to be delivered in like two or three months. But an idea is usually a multi-month experience. You're talking six, seven, nine, 12 months, maybe a little bit more than a year, right? And so these ideas are usually pretty big. And in that case, I would recommend that you are on Jira Premium and get yourself to the initiative because the initiative is then going to be able to be decomposed into technical epics slash features that are then going to be broken down to stories, which are then going to be planned to your sprints, which are then going to be, you know, part of your releases, which then will go out in, in cycles and whatnot. So that's how that whole decomposition works. So, but because I don't have the initiative right now in this particular project, I'm just going to do the epic just to kind of show you what this looks like. But if I was in your position, I would do it at the initiative level. Now initiatives are not available for everybody, which is why I'm electing to not do it in this demonstration. But in the comments, let me know if you would want to see it at the initiative level. The majority of you are probably not going to be on that premium though. So I'm going to do it at the Epic, which is the de facto highest tier that you do have available to you. So anyways, so we have the Epic, we have the name, we're just simply going to click on create. I wanted to take a quick second to tell you about today's sponsor. I recently discovered Released, a Jira app that generates stunning release notes straight from your Jira tickets. What used to take me hours takes minutes with Released. It's so easy to use. Just drag and drop your issues into the editor to craft your release notes. Then publish your announcements with a single click to your website, in-app widget, or Confluence for internal collaboration. Make sure you click on the link in the description down below to start your free trial. So once you hit the create button, depending on how your environment's set up, maybe you have additional required fields beyond just a summary. You're going to be prompted to fill out that information as well. So in this case, I need to set my priority. I'm just going to set it to highest. Why not? And then I'll hit create. Once you fill out all the required information, you're going to see that the ticket is going to be created for you. It's going to get the key inside of Jira software. In this case, it's TFTS-7. And now I can expand on it and it's going to show no child issues, but we're going to fix that next. But a couple other things that I want to highlight for you. So this is the key, the epic, the name, the status of that epic inside of Jira software. And most importantly, you get delivery progress. Now, a couple of things for you to keep in mind. You can and do have the ability to add additional epics. So if you're ready to decompose this thing and start, you know, adding all that decomposition and breaking it down into the technical bits or the features that you're going to actually deliver. You can add them all here. And so that way that idea technically serves as your initiative. And now you have the 10, 20, 30 different epics that then are going to be decomposed into the 50, 100, 200 stories. So that's one option. The other option is that maybe you just start here and then you tell the teams, Hey, go decompose it, go figure it out. And then they're going to go make epics, right? So they're going to jump into Jira over here. They're going to go into their timeline over here or however they want to do this, right? And then they're going to go and create epics. They're just going to, you know, hit the create button, make a bunch of epics, right? But those epics are not magically going to be connected back to 
the idea. So what you have to do then is once those epics are created, you then want to click on that add delivery ticket so that you can then, you know, find that epic. So I'm going to create an epic over here, All right? So this is another epic for the Slack integration. We'll take this text, copy it, put it in the summary, hit create. And so once we have this epic, we can then go back into our project over here, do a quick refresh. And then we're going to be able to find that brand new epic that we just added. And depending on the fact that my team has started doing the decomposition on their end, I can simply go find it. So I'm going to be able to find that epic here and click add. So really this video is designed for like the product owners, right? The product managers that are responsible for doing this tracking. Because once those tickets are created, again, you can have as many as you want. You can do 10, 20, 30, whatever many you need in order to have the full picture of where this delivery is going. Then the magic starts, right? So as your team starts decomposing these epics, because naturally teams are not going to work off of epics. Epics are too big, right? So naturally they're going to open up this epic and they're going to create child issues and they're going to create stories. In this particular case, I don't have stories in this project, so let's just go with tasks. So they're going to create, again, a story here. So this will be story one, story two, story three. Again, ignore the fact that it says tasks. I really should plan for these videos a little bit better. And so once you have these items, I can go back to Jira Product Discovery. Again, do another quick refresh. You probably don't need to do the refresh, but refresh is always good. And I can now expand that item that I had just done. And you can see that all those stories slash tasks are here. And then if I take one of these items and I decompose it into subtasks, so if you're that type of team that uses subtasks as well, you can then also add those there and they will also show up here because as you can see, we do have the expansion here. Now, I don't have subtests available in this particular project, so I'm not going to see them here, but this is how you can start seeing the entire hierarchy of all the issues. And so in one single place, you get to see the entire picture. And this is again, why we create these delivery tickets because we're able to see everything holistically from one idea, right? Each idea is going to have its own breakdown and decomposition of work. But in this one place, we're able to see how is this project doing, right? And so now naturally, as these stories start moving to, to like done, and then the epics start moving to in progress, right? Then those statuses over here, again, a quick refresh, is then going to be reflected inside of your Jira product discovery. So as you can see, we have the items that are in progress. We can expand this and you'll see that that one story is done and you start seeing that delivery progress here. And so this again makes it really, really cool because you can essentially from a high 50,000 foot view at a really nice big glance, you can see how everything's happening and you are not having to hover as much over your technical teams because you have the full picture here as long as you create and those connections between those epics, features and stuff into your delivery tickets inside of your idea. I want to take a quick second to tell you about today's sponsor. I recently discovered Released, a Jira app that generates stunning release notes straight from your Jira tickets. What used to take me hours takes minutes with Released. It's so easy to use. Just drag and drop your issues into the editor to craft your release notes. Then publish your announcements with a single click to your website in-app widget or confluence for internal collaboration. Make sure you click on the link in the description down below to start your free trial. So anyways, that's it for this video. Hope you found it useful. If you're using Jira product discovery and you're not using your delivery tickets, you're missing out because this is again, one of my favorite features. And if you're using just Jira software and you're kind of using something else like aha or some other product management tool, then you're probably missing out quite a bit because this integration, right? Atlassian builds all these products. So they work really, really well so that they can give you all that information that you need to be successful or at least increase the probability of success in your project deliveries. So if you found this video valuable and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you smash the subscribe button now. Drop a like if you found value. Don't forget to share this video with your peers, with your product managers, product owners, anybody and everybody in your company. And most importantly, above all else, check out the links down below so you can help support the channel. Specifically, go and try out the apps from the, one of the many sponsors of these videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one. So fight,